it's been a while again. I'm back with another video. Um, I don't know how long this will last. At the end of the day, I need to come back at some point. I'm fresh off the back of having my weekend ruined by Kill Lafferty, so that was fun. And I've obviously been at every single done filming game in the last, I don't know, three and a half to four months, maybe even five months now since I last uploaded a match day vlog. I've simply not been filming clips, I've just been going to the games and enjoying it. Sitting with the Northwest boys, creating a bit of an atmosphere at the games, and that's been a different experience in the last kind of five or six months. So I've never really felt like bringing the camera out. However, I'm here to speak about the weekend's game and where I think the filming season will end up. I don't know whether I'm going to go back to filming match day vlogs or it's just going to be more of a you know, match review and then talking about Scottish football in general from here on in, but we'll wait and see. And uh, if my creative juices get flowing, then I might go back to do match day vlogs, but we'll hold the bus a bit on that. Speaking of buses, all about the Pibus Supporters Club. Go and follow it on Twitter. Cheers. So the weekend's game, as I say, ruined by Kill Lafferty. Dunfermline went 1-0 up through Stephen Lawless. Half an hour to go, and Kill Lafferty scores two goals within, I don't know, about 10-15 minutes each other. And we lose the game 2-1, and we're in ninth position in the league in the relegation playoff place, of course. And that ultimately means that, you know, we're in a bit of a sticky situation. We're three points away for 8th and then 4th from 7th and 6th, so there is a wee bit of a sort of gap opening up and if we didn't start picking up wins specifically then we're ultimately going to end up in that relegation playoff place, perhaps even lower if Queen's can pick up their form after sacking Alan Johnson. Alan Johnson is a League One manager at best, a very good League One manager at that, but always finds it tricky when he gets up to the championship. Anyway, done filming the season so far. Of course, we started it with Peter Grant getting appointed. Probably the completely wrong appointment for the very start. Ultimately, he got our relegated last season pretty much. And we decided to bring him in as manager to get us promoted. It did look all rosy at the very start of the season where we were bringing in signings and pre-season form and stuff like that. And we were all really positive going into the season. And then it just went all kibosh. And we lost... A numerous amount of games, didn't win any league games until the middle of November. Get yourself to stop Ultimately, we had to bring in a new manager in John Hughes. Now, I believe that if he was our manager for the start of the season, we would be in a bit of a better position than we are now. Not saying we'd be up there with the best of them like our brother and Kilmarnock are this season, but I would definitely say that we'd be a bit more clear of this position than we are now would have at least a few more wins under our belt, let's just say that. So it has improved under John Hughes, there's no doubt about that. But the main thing is that we're simply just not clinical enough. We don't have a clinical striker that gets game time, ultimately. Hughes is deciding to stick with Lewis McCann up front and not play the likes of Nikolai Todorov. Brought on Kevin O'Hara at the weekend, but he's not really seen much game time since Hughes has come in. And as everyone knows, Craig Whiten was sent out on loan which is a bit of a baffling decision considering the position that we're in ourselves. We need a clinical striker and Craig White can provide that when he's on his best form. We've never had that much of a clinical striker this season, but to give away one of them to the part-time team in the league that's firing for the Premiership when we are done in a relegation battle, it really speaks volumes of how our season's going. And I genuinely do have the fear that we're going to end up in a relegation playoff maybe even a final against the likes of Falkirk or something like that and that would be the utter dregs for me. I could not stand it. I would be such a nervous wreck really because it's the exact scenario you don't want as a football fan. So I really don't know what to make of the rest of this season. It could go extremely wrong and we could get automatically relegated which would be utterly damaging for the club and the fan base as a whole because it's really not what we expected of this season. We could finish in an relegation playoff and go down, which would be just as damaging, of course. We could finish in an relegation playoff and stay up, which would be okay. It would at least keep us in the championship, of course, or we could just stay up, and that's the best we can really hope for. We're not going to get anything else. We're out of all the cup competitions, and we've only got the league really left at our disposal, and we're not winning it. We're not getting the promotion playoffs, I wouldn't think, and staying up is the best option so that's all I've really got to say on it we need to stay up massively going down should not be an option but it may well be just depends how we can put form together in the next couple of months because there's tough games coming up in the immediate future 
Partick Thistle, Kilmarnock, all the top teams in the Championship are currently our next three or four games. So, I'm on the pars, let's hope we stay up. I don't know if it's going to be the case though. Cheers lads.